Today we're comparing the Micro Crosby from MZ Wallace and the Dagny Dover Mara Phonesley. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, back reviews, and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today we're going to talk all about the Micro Crosby from MZ Wallace, this beautiful little quilted nylon bag, and the Mara Phone Sling from Dagny Dover. Both of these bags are very similar in size, and so I thought it would be fun to show you guys just a quick comparison of the two. So, as always, the links to both of the products will be in the description box down below, and let's go ahead and jump right in. First and foremost, let's talk about material. So the MC Wallace bag is made of quilted nylon, and it has Italian leather accents. It also has this little chain detail, but it is also removable. And it's kind of a braided chain that's braided with leather and the gold chain, and it's really pretty. You can remove it just like that. Um, the straps are made from a similar material, similar like nylon webbing material. So you'll see a lot more hardware on this one, a lot more flash. This is a lot more dressy. The Dagny Dover bag is made of neoprene. It has rubber accents, so the nameplate is rubber. And then the hardware is metal, but it's gonna match the color of the strap. Um, and then you have big, chunky plastic zippers. And then this one has a D-ring right on the back. So when it comes to materials, the two really couldn't be more different. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features of the bag. So the MZ Wallace Micro Crosby is gonna have this little pocket here on the outside that goes all the way down to the bottom there. And then on the inside, it's very simple. You're just gonna have three, there we go, three card slots and then that open space down there. And it's kind of dark so you can't really see, but it's basically just an open, an open space for you to toss your phone or lipstick or whatever you might need. And then of course um, on the back, it's just completely solid. But the Mara phone sling, you have a slip pocket that's mesh here on the back. And then on the inside, you open it up, you have quite a bit more organization. You have a slip pocket on one side, and then on the other, you have three card slots and then an elastic loop. And then you have some space here in the middle to put your phone, lip gloss, pens, whatever you might need. So I do feel like the Mara phone sling is gonna be able to handle just a little bit more when you start packing it up. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what my phone looks in here, looks like in here um, also in just a sec. The price points on the two are also pretty different. I'm gonna put both prices here on the screen. The MZ Walls bag is going to carry a higher price point, um, and I think part of that is definitely due to the quality of materials being leather, all of the hardware, and that is where I think the, where the price point difference is. But let me grab my cell phone, pop it down inside. You can see this is an iPhone XR, so I guess 10R or something along those lines, um, and it looks like that. It's in there, no problem. I think I'd probably use a card case and actually stick more than just three cards in this. I don't know if that will fit my Dagny Dover card case. Let's just try it. Okay, I fit my Dagny Dover card case in here, but it's, I don't know that I'd totally recommend it because I really kind of like pulled, <laughs> I did really finagle it to get it in here. Um, but I did in a pinch, that's an option. So I think I'd probably keep some extra stuff um, and maybe skip putting it in this front pocket, but keep it in the interior of this bag, which would look like this. It doesn't bulk it up too much. I think this would be great to keep inside of a larger bag to just kind of grab and go. The Mara phone sling is definitely a little easier to get in and out of in terms of like accessing all the things that you need, um, but they're totally different styles, so I love both of them. So that's what it looks like with my phone and my card case in there. It did kind of kind of um, bulk it up a little bit, but not bad. I also enjoy putting my phone on the outside pocket um, so that way I can have access to it quickly if I need to. So that is what that looks like. I have my loopy case, so it kind of makes it stick out. But there you go. They're both very similar in size in terms of their actual dimensions, but I think this Mara, because of the nature of the neoprene, can kind of stretch and accommodate just a bit more than the Micro Crosby, but I thought it would be a super fun comparison. I think that both of the bags are awesome. This would be a great evening bag. I think it's a lot dressier, or it can be if you need to. Um, it's super cute, love, love. Um, and that is my quick comparison of these two smaller pieces from Dagny Dover and MZ Wallace. 
All right, guys, so that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment box down below which one of these bags is your favorite, and I'll see all of you guys again in my next one.